that um, this question of cultural heritage and how is it um, forwarded? For example, in uh, workshops and in talking about the life experiences of those who were exiled. And um, I think that's just, as far as topics are concerned, that are to be addressed. I think that's one uh, more or less major topic, this uh, Jazz Against Apartheid and beyond. What do we do with that? What is supposed to happen? What do we wish to happen with this music and, and the project in South Africa? What can we contribute, so to speak? That's just all that I wanted to say in this for the panel discussion. Mm -hmm. And uh, who will who will participate then in that panel discussion? Who is uh, part of it? I believe it'll be uh, somebody from the Holocaust Center, mm -hmm. and yourself for the moment. There might be. I know they've got a focus on uh, xenophobia. So they might mm -hmm. uh, have somebody speaking about that in the role of cultural activism. Okay. So, so I thought it might be interesting, you know, um, the negotiation of space uh, in Johnny Diani's music, you know, and uh, could be a very interesting topic that um, that bridges, because the idea was the bridge of music and politics. Yes. So, yeah, yeah, and I think that's absolutely... Um... Relevant, relevant, because um, especially what happens when the words stop? <laughs> <laughs> because, uh, yeah, if, if, if it's so much um, pain or whatever, you know, or you are hurt so much or whatever, I mean, all kinds of situations, at one point, uh, the, the, the discussion is very hard. And I think um, I'm not so sure romantic about it at all, but it's just an experience that uh, with the music, um, you have another way of um, creating a togetherness yes. that uh, goes beyond the 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 what 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 words can can say, so to speak. Because with words, sometimes, I mean, it's great that you can convey a meaning, but words can also sometimes be a, a wall of defense. And in music, you cannot play together with that wall. It's, it's impossible. <laughs> Especially not in Johnny Duane's music. It's, it's, it's impossible. You have to open up and you have to be part of, of a community. Otherwise, the music does not work at all. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 And yeah, that is very true. And I think I think also that is that is what Johnny was about anyway. Yes. You know, absolutely. Hence, hence, hence in all his things, he was about bringing in different people, different, you know, irrespective of who the person is or whatever. So I agree with you totally. Mm, yeah. 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 Yeah, I think the need for a positive vision of what can happen, uh, what needs to happen, a kind of utopia, so to say, which I think, to me at least, this music always is. Just mm. bridging the color gap, bridging the nationality gap, bridging the sex gap. And uh, to my mind, this is very, very, very important, especially right now where words, as you say, Christopher, can be so awful and setting off friends, former friends against each other. And also wrong used and so on, definitely. Yeah, you need a clear definition about that and a clear like vector, yeah, cool. So then my question is, um, how would you translate that into, into the workshops? You know, how would you, how are we going to build um, this community with the next generation, like I know, for example, um, well, first of all, Christian, I would wish that you would connect with maybe uh, drummers and also Lex, you would be able to open up to more bass players. I mean, how 
or we've sure. got, and also Christopher, I've been thinking so much about this vibraphone, as you know, through the yeah. emails, you know, and it's <laughs> like, is that a dying instrument or how do we actually can... now take this to the next level in terms of these shows in the workshops? In I the... think the next level we have all to figure out doing the process of it, I would say, you know, otherwise I come in, I can tell them actually nothing. You know, I just can share the moment with them, with my knowledge and their knowledge, you know, and then we can find a way together. This is what it is in the end. And then I would, would show them some some music and the other way around. And then we try to play and then we maybe try to do, divide some different things and try to play it again and rehearse together, more or less. I would say it would be also great to, to share a nice moment and to talk about that special moment what we liked. And this is a nice thing, I think, to explore what we like actually together. Where oh. do you feel comfortable? Where I feel comfortable in, and so on. And I think um, that will solve some questions and answers already. <laughs> so means in 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 Europe they call it a clinic. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that you come with a specific a specific like um, topic in mind. But I would oh. open it up here. I wouldn't 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 come and teach something what I like or something like that. I would like figure out what the topic could be, you know? So it means we play something and then the other way around. They will play something and then we come together. Yeah. Oh. Uh, what do you think about that? Maybe I jumped too too late in here. Maybe I'm completely wrong. But you know, <laughs> it's good yeah. like you have both options, like to answer also with music, mm -hmm. as Christopher was saying, you know. So, yeah, and also show them the multi-dimensional way of doing the same. You know, different views on the same. You know, how do you feel about that? How I feel about that, and so on. You know, so that would be just great to do. I would say. Yeah, I think this is great, but uh, there <laughs> is one thing we have to think about or we don't have to think about i don't know uh bring johnny stiani music into the whole thing as a main topic so if yeah. we do that we have to be a little bit specific about for example what we did you weren't there last year but we did that that we were everybody worked with the drummers or the saxophone players on one or two tunes and of course in that work it it will be exactly like you said but not so open in a way because there is a goal and the goal was that everybody comes together in the end of the workshop and, and they play the tune. And yeah. uh, to totally right, but um, yeah, yeah, but still, like, it would be great to open it up, like, just that people, it's not, it should be not based on skills in the end, you know, it should be based on the understanding. Yes. So, but yeah, and that's what I mean. So, in the West, we come definitely the main topic is Diani's music, but also, you know, I come from a different point and I played in a different way because, you know, and, you know, I have a different yeah. history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, so, we have to also involve that in the whole narrative of it. Yeah, so, yeah. That, you know what I mean? I totally know what you mean, but, uh, you know, and this, yeah, I, I just have to basically explain my grammar, how, how I come to this music or, to how I come to the process of improvising, you know, uh, yeah. or what it, what it could be in the end. Yeah. Same for Christopher, right? Uh, yeah, I, I, I totally agree. I think um, if 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 uh, if the postulat <laughs> of community <laughs> yeah. is uh, yeah. true, then it's about the people that are there. It means. Yeah. Um, we can think about all kinds of things, but it's clear that we all have a lot of knowledge from the experience with this music. And then we just um, bring it and then it happens with the people that are there. So it's not possible, I think, now to decide what to do 
Uh, it's 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 very about then being there and sharing the music with who is there and then see how we can play that. I mean, that's a great thing about Johnny Diani's music is that you can do everything with it. And that's yeah. the what Lex said, you know, that's what, uh, what, what the compositions are very, very specific in that, <laughs> that that everybody can be his or her own in that music. And oh. um, that's, I think, for me, the core part. And if we go into the process like that, nothing can go wrong. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. I totally agree. And also, I'm I'm up for like to divide some some stuff. You know that that I can also talk to some bass players, as you said, and, or like some drummers, and then we can play together. And then you know we get ready to do the next step. Then later together, something like that. Let's see. I would also think what uh, something that could be beneficial or something that would be good for 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 us South African musicians. I mean, when Johnny left South Africa he was very, very, very young. So his development really happened when he was in exile. So it would be nice if, if it would be nice if 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 we can uh, talk about that history, you know. No, I'm not trying to say let's make this a history lesson or ethnomusicology kind of uh, thing, but just about your interaction with him and all those kind of things as part of doing this whole, this whole, this, this whole exercise of dealing with his with his music. That would give an insight, more insight, you know, to us who didn't get the opportunity to interact with him personally. We, we, we only had a way of interacting with him through his music, you know, listening to his record. Play, like last year, it was, it was really great interacting with uh, Alan, uh, Daniel, and, you know, because they interacted directly with him. So I think that would be good too, if we can have a space for that as well in this whole thing, you know. Definitely. Oh, go ahead, Alan. Yeah, one of the one of the first ideas that Daniel and I had years and years ago about this developing this maybe for workshops and that is, and I've always referenced yeah, yeah. it is that is that you know he, Johnny Diani left so young, so he had an he was impacted by the centers that he lived in and visited and the musicians there, but also his the impact of the exile diaspora, especially in London. You know, you have the Brotherhood yeah. of Breath and all that continuation of this kind of music. It was it affected generations of musicians, and that's exactly to Lex's point. You know, they were impacted by their new environments, but yet they impacted profoundly the musicians that they played with, interacted with. The non-South Africans, as as Johnny and the, the fellows were in exile, self-exile. So. Absolutely, I wanted to ask. You know, you said Johnny's music can do many things. I think one of the things that we're being asked to do is exactly what Lex was saying there about um, cultural memory and reconnecting to this part of exile history that hasn't really returned. Mm. And you saw that in Duncan Village. They even want to do a, a show about uh, Johnny, you know, theater show there in Duncan Village. So the question is, is how can we expand this project to other musicians and, and other legacies around this? Um, you know, for example, uh, you spoke about um, that Louis Moholo tour to South Africa. See, Tobias was part of that. Is he not part of uh, JAA in, in Europe? And these kind of guys, I mean, are there people that we need to also start thinking about in terms of of this project, you know, and, and and helping restore that cultural memory. Yeah, Luis Moholo was playing sometimes with us and it was mostly as a second person, like the second drummer, because uh, Makaya was the 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 guy who was playing all the time but Louis was there sometimes mm. I remember a duo with Christopher and Louis at some place that was great 
I still remember it. <laughs> yeah, no, it was amazing to play with uh, Louis. It was just... <laughs> Question, do we visit him? Where does he live? Sorry for these kind of <laughs> uh, weird questions, but I think he's in. he's back, right? He's there. Yeah, he's in Cape Town. Okay. I would like yeah. to 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 meet him. Is it is there a chance? Well, Cape Town would be another nine, nine and a half or ten hours from where we okay. from where so, we will be. <laughs> no, 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 totally. <laughs> okay, good. Then I will call him, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would I would think um you know plan to go to Cape Town in 2024 and plan to actually go and do something around Louis as well. You know, maybe mm -hmm. just even There if it's just go. one song to add. But I yeah, think yeah. it would be amazing. I didn't Great. really know where he exactly lives currently. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think it should be a plan. Um, that's the question about beyond exile, you know, how far does this go? Sure. Um how yeah. far can can we take it? How far do you want to To go, I mean, because as Lex said, there's a huge hunger, so much lost um, in terms of our cultural history that is being restored through this process. Yeah, I think yeah. that's that's really great um, because <clears throat> there was also many others uh, in in this project that were really crucial to it, like um, I was mentioned, um, <clears throat> Makaya and Choko but also Harry Beckett and yeah. John Chikai, who also uh, played a major role in developing this whole program. Unfortunately, they're not with us anymore, but it would be wonderful also for us to share uh, knowledge about working with them. Mm. Yeah. Uh, because that was really uh, so, so special. It's, uh, um, also in, really in this particular and specific context of the John Didiani music. And I think that's also something to discuss, uh, you know, when you have that framework, how can you then integrate all these different characters and these different lives um, into the music? And how did they correspond to John Didiani's work, but also how did they spin off their own music from that? Like Makaya and the Chocos was a, was a very important band in the in the seventies with Bob Degen, Isla Eckinger and Heinz Sauer, that also mm -hmm. had a very peculiar sound that was um, then inspired by Johnny Diani, one could say, and, and and developed their own voice. So to talk about that would also be wonderful, I think. Um, I wondered. Um, because I'm a person of words, I'm writing, I'm, I'm, um, I wonder what you just said, because that's uh, what happens when words stop. I don't know if what you all just said, if that is transferable in music alone, or if it is possible to have a, a session, a dialogue session, so to say, among the musicians uh, to share those experiences. Is that is possible on the 13th or on the 14th um, of December. If there is, apart from the, the first uh, concert, apart from the workshops with music, if it is possible, if you wish to do that, um, to share this knowledge and the experiences that you had in a talk session. Open to you, just wondering. Elizabeth, if I can answer that, I thought, um, you know, we've got such a short time um, in these venues to do the workshops, to try and do the workshops as well. I thought we should perhaps use this moment to uh, document what we can um, that needs to be said, you know, and then at <clears> least um, it's done and we can really focus on on the tour and just just enjoying ourselves. But I, like, for example, um, you know, Alan, with the background of all the photos there, I mean, I think all this memory, I mean, we're very, we're very hungry for it. There's a huge hunger in South Africa for this cultural memory. So it's up to you um, how we can how we can share this in the best way. I mean, that's really I, your call. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally, Stuart. Um, I, I think also, from my opinion or my, my experience so far, 
uh, are like, um, you do this clinic and then questions come up. So we have to make sure that we hang together a little bit. You know what I mean? There's maybe one hour or two hours workshop, whatever. Some people might be also shy to come up with questions and people come later mostly with questions, you know, and then you talk. So that should happen. This is really important and the main um, main thing for me to spend time with them on that day, maybe a little bit. You know what I mean? So because sometimes the official thing is like that people are too shy to really do something and like, you know, it's often like this. They need time, incubation time to 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 think what they can ask. It was just a, a suggestion mm. because I picked up this um, hunger for exchange, for sharing cultural memories and, and experiences. But uh, I agree totally with you, Christian, that it's um, something that um just comes up when it comes up well, we've yeah got... you can provoke it but i i think we all do not know we cannot really provoke it we are there and we are open for that i think and we have answers but um you cannot prefabricate anything in this i, I think i mean you can but you know we did it our lifetime <laughs> you know um so it would be great just to be there and like be as open as possible for for different Mm, topics. Yeah, I guess that's that that that's the only tool that we have, I think, to be there and open to anything. I mean we can't really like like you're yeah. saying, we can't yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah, I think so. You know, let's get and 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 I mean when I'm talking about talking about the history, the cultural history, whatever, it, it doesn't even need to be a panel discussing or something. Somebody can just, you know introduce you know we are about johnny Gianni and this is what is happening this is what he did then we can add on in that you know just an in informal kind of discuss not discussing i don't have the right word but just a way of sharing you know you know like it could be even in a form of sharing some some stories or something like that, whatever sure. that would that will lead to a play to 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 a playing situation, you know, yeah. not to have a panel discussing and then break that and then we go and play. It can all happen in one go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Lex, I think that's great <laughs> because that's then you know the <laughs> other way around. What happens when the music stops? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's so, it. You know, then when, when you yeah, have a question, yeah. and I think it's great, you know, you have a concrete uh, question through to a certain groove or what you know, a certain part of the piece or whatever. Yeah, and then yeah. you could tell a story about Makaya or tell a story about yeah. um, Harry Beckett and things like that. So I think that, that that would be fantastic, you know, to 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 open the workshop and make it lively like that. Yeah. Sure, sure. Uh, <laughs> I have another question. The people that will do the workshop and also play in Joburg, do we have oh. the opportunity to meet and rehearse before the first day, or will that be our getting together? Good question. Thank you, Daniel. <laughs> well, it's up to you. I mean, uh, it's up to it's up to you. It's just Lex and Thomas um, that are joining. Um, I know Christopher and Christian. You, you, the guys who are bringing you instruments are well-established musicians, so they'll be there. That's some uh, Spiwe on the drums, Shaburi on the drums, and um, oh, okay. on the vibraphone. So they're going to be part of our family there. Um, also, uh, we got a SOS from um, Luanda Gogwana's father, who's from Duncan Village. Luanda's a lovely trumpet player, so we had to bring him into the show. So Luanda's going to be around um, with us. Chester is in Joburg, so he's flying with us to Eastern Cape. So he's going to be around, although he's not hired for the show. So it's really just a, a six-piece band, as I see it. Yes, but still, I mean, we haven't seen each other for a long time. Sure. 
be great, you know, just, I mean, we, there are, diff if we have a venue where we can play, I, do, I think we come there on the 12th, is that right? I, I don't have, and the, the next day is the 13th. Yeah. Probably, when does it start, the workshop? On the 13th. So I mean, what time? I'm sure by eleven it started. Okay, so we don't have time on the thirteen. So if we want to meet, we have to meet on the twelfth. Yes, and you're staying in yeah. a venue that facilitates rehearsals regularly. Um, you know, Nyrock. So there is space for rehearsal. I think at the moment <clears throat> in a garage or something. Yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't have to be, a, a, you know, rehearsal, rehearsal, rehearsal. But I think it's good if we meet and if we talk and what we do, uh, uh, play a little bit, maybe. Uh, if this is possible, that would be great. Yeah, okay. Daniel, totally right. Totally right. But if, just in case, if there's not that much time, we can also rehearse in front of these people. This could belong to a clinic. Show them how. To, yeah, how to, yeah. It's cool. just say you know, just to be not that stressed would be great. But if not, you know, then you know, then let's hang together and let's. Make yeah, something. yeah. So yeah. that was just like my 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 idea. <clears throat> yeah, good idea. Good. Um, do you want to say something about Nyrox and about the center and about the uh, other venues, maybe to Christopher and Christian, just to give them a short introduction to the places where we will be? For sure, I can do that. Also, um, I'll send you the YouTube links for the videos that Jürgen made um, welcoming these centers. I think um, it's amazing to see um, uh, how much Jürgen has actually uh, influenced uh, this tour and, and what we're doing here, because um, obviously mm -hmm. Alan and, and uh, Daniel and Claude's not with us, but they'll remember last year very well. The Eastern Cape is is a, a very rich uh, cultural space, so that's a story in itself. I mean, Duncan Village is a story in itself. It's not only the place where Johnny Diani comes from, but also Tete and Bambisa, the great pianist, and Pinasi Saul, and they're starting to revive. Pinnacy Saw's legacy, Sipo Kazi, the vocalist and educator, that side were doing it. So Eastern Cape in the last year has experienced something of an impact. You know, a lot mm -hmm. of the musicians that um, we were with last year have really continued this, um, this spirit. And so they're going to have a whole performance there as Great. well. So the show is going to be two bands playing with a little bit of a collaboration at the end. That's the Biko Center. And Biko Center, I think, is really this this legacy of Steve Biko and Johnny Diani and the way Jürgen puts it in the video. He actually says um, South Africa missed the opportunity of making Song for Biko our national anthem. You know, and that's that's not a joke because um, Nkosi Sikilele, I believe, is um, actually a song from, uh, Lex will tell me, is it East Zambia, East Africa? It's a, It's an African anthem. But it's not really specific to South Africa, so I think um, actually what um, what is happening I'm seeing at the Biko Center is such a a strong um, resonance between the legacy of Diani and the legacy of Biko, one being from exile and one obviously here. So that's a very special event, so much so that um, we're all improvising, not just the musicians. We've extended our stay there. We'll leave on the afternoon of the following day, whereas previously we left early the morning the next day. But we'll stay for the 18th because that would be Biko's 78th birthday, I believe. Um, so we are hoping to just pop back into the center. Maybe that's our opportunity for dialoguing. Peggy will be there. Mrs. Biko will be there. There's nothing really planned. We're just um, thinking, let's spend that time together. So that's yeah. Eastern Cape. Joburg is another story which really, um, I don't know who's, where, whose idea it was to include Joburg on the tour, but it kind of happened and it came together. I mean, Jürgen and Tali Nates met 
in Germany and Elizabeth was there. And Tali Nates spent 15 years fundraising to build this Holocaust Center. So she's um, uh, done amazing work herself. And they are going to host the event. I think it's the very first one for them. I mean, in fact, there seem to be a lot of firsts. I know I've been going on about the vibraphone, but that's really also seems to be quite a first here as well. You know, we're having to bring in this vibraphone from SABC on a on a four-ton truck. And that's Joburg. Eastern Cape and Kwako's driving his vibraphone oh. uh, 10, a thousand, you know, long way overnight. You know, that's the effort uh, we've gone through. So I think it's a big first for the Holocaust Center. And Nyrox as well, you know, they do host uh, musical events, but Alan will know, Alan's been a guiding light here. We've actually been meeting on Zoom in the background, you know, to see how to position Nyrox as a partner. Nyrox is not in Johannesburg as such. It's in a place called the Cradle of Humankind, which is another municipality, Mokhali municipality. It's in the west of uh, the Johannesburg area. So they, um, I mean, there's a lot of space there. It's a World Heritage Site. It's very significant. And I think this idea of an international jazz event at the Cradle is just starting to have some strong resonance. Um, with with that space, and I don't know what will come of this event, but one thing I do know is that Pule Petu, the um, keyboard player on that Louis Moholo tour, he is a, a cradle artist, so we are trying to at least have him at the show. At the moment, I've just invited him because we don't really know exactly what Nyrox are planning. Nyrox are their own entity their own business. They're going to use this and we're going to try and find a way to work together. So that's okay. Joburg and Eastern Cape. Can I use this occasion, this opportunity to thank you, Strun, in the name of Jürgen and in the name of all us, the musicians, the organizers, for the work that you've been doing. You and that's Christine. amazing. It's amazing, it's tremendous, and we are really very, very grateful to have you as partner uh, in South Africa to be doing all that. I mean, otherwise it wouldn't happen. Yeah. So thank you very much. It, uh, oh, pleasure, you? Elizabeth, it wouldn't thank happen. You. Yeah. <laughs> but you great. know, uh, uh, the two days ago, um, Peggy was on uh, South African television, you know, uh, to be with the German ambassador. So. What's actually happening is exactly what Lex is talking about. This 25 years of cultural memory is kind of coming back to South Africa on, on the wings of uh, Jazz Against Apartheid. You know, and also if you look at it, it's it's quite um, symbolic that next year will be 30 years of democracy in South Africa. And it is also 35 years since the fall of the Berlin Wall. And notwithstanding, there's a huge... Um, spirit of resistance at the moment, particularly in South Africa for what's happening in the Middle East. So the, it just seems that there's a, a real need for this event at the moment, and there's a need to bring back this um, cultural memory. So the actions we are doing is very much information with a much um, a greater movement um, at the moment to, you know, to share the power of music, I suppose. And um, Johnny Diani's legacy is like a an incredible role model. And, and that's, that's I suppose, my questions is, how far does this legacy go and what kind of impact does it make, you know, for other legacies? <clears throat> is that a question, Stu, <laughs> that you want to be answered? <laughs> that's, that's a question. How far does the legacy go? I mean, for example, last year we spoke about the songbook. I don't know if you can see it. I see yeah. that. No, yeah. yeah. So now we've done the songbook. It's published. Amazing. Get it into universities. And so we've made this step. You know, we've now expanded to Joburg. Maybe it can expand to Cape Town. But that's what I'm asking is how far um, does yeah. this kind of project go? You know, we're seeing the legacy of Peggy being exposed in Amtata, she says we must go to the Nelson Mandela Museum and perform there. That's the question is how far does the legacy, how far does it go?
Well, for me, we can go to as far as we are able to, to as far as we 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 have capacity to go. We shouldn't uh, limit ourselves or put some parameters as to that will go to this point or to that point. I think let's just go for it. Yeah, Alex. The, the, Alex. the music, the music mustn't stop. <laughs> Christo. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, <laughs> keep on doing it. <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> I think that's I pretty much clear. Sorry, <laughs> it's perfectly clear, I think, that uh, there should be no, no limit to it. And we can fantasize about how far you can go. We can fantasize about an exhibition that Busi is working on, etc. Um, but what I do think is that we need the financial resources from South Africa pouring in in order to sustain the project. We cannot sustain it from Germany uh, very much longer. I think the resources from, from South Africa must be uh, start, really must start to flow in fundamentally and substantially for the project. We can help raise funds, but um, it cannot be our position and our duty, so to say, even if it's not a, a duty, but a pleasure <laughs> to, to start the, and to do the fundraising. So, I mean, just getting the South African embassy in Berlin to answer 700 mails, I mean, still, you know. <laughs> How difficult that is sometimes to just yeah. sustain, 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 and not let them off the hook. We have to see. I don't think that there's any serious answer to your question uh, possible at the moment. Well, thanks, thanks, Elizabeth. I think that's also puts into perspective the level of skills transfer of an international event in South Africa, because really. Um, we're very, very far stretched. I think 30 years of democracy um, has really uh, stretched this nation uh, to the limit. Um, where where we, we will be able to go, who knows? You know. So I think that's the level of skills transfer has been amazing. There's no doubt that uh, the capacity of Europe is, is far superior to the capacity of, of South Africa. At every, at every level of the conversation, we really do need to to build bridges, we kind of, and also, um, I mean, I'm speaking from Joburg, you know, I think Eastern Cape and Peggy made this very clear is that Eastern Cape is kind of being uh, severely neglected. And um, I don't know what the reason is for that and how to resolve mm -hmm. it. So, so thank you very much to all of you. It's really, you really are coming into a kind of a, a, a situation that's really recovering from we don't know what happened here with politics. I mean, quite personally, I think um, politics is a is a funny story. So I do hope uh, music can can assist us greatly, and we, we'll just keep trying. It's well, it's uh, it's really. Um, you send seven thousand emails. I bash my head seven thousand times against the wall. It feels like sometimes, <laughs> you know. It's, yeah. it's but we'll keep we'll keep trying because it's such a, a worthy cost. You know, they broke down the Berlin Wall. I think we'll break down the um, the economic barrier at the moment. Um, I think that that's what we need to do is is yeah. break down that wall. So yeah. the music and the international help is really is incredible. What what you've done um, to bring this here has really made an impact. Everybody's lives has been touched by it. Has has been elevated. All of us. That's so cool. we'll, we'll give it our best. But thank you very much. Sure. To everyone, I don't. I don't know if there's anything more to say from my side. I'm. I'm totally. Um. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. 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 Now I'm. Now I'm more upset than ever that I'm not going. <laughs> yeah, this is well, that, that, that. <laughs> really, it is <laughs> but but I have to say, you know, the, like Struan mentioned, the discussions that we've been having with the Nirox is an amazing place, and 
in spite of all the beauty and the incredible work they're doing, one of the first discussions was had to do with some sort of some sort of environmental impact that they're having that is really limiting them. So, you know, the kinds of things that we, especially in Canada or Germany, that that's not even on our radar as far as how it affects our ability to present and, and sustain, you know. And so uh, Struan and everyone there, I, I applaud your efforts and your tenacity and your perseverance, you know. And like I said, the NIROC Centre is incredible. All of these centres are incredible, but they're able to provide and promote and present in circumstances that that most of us have no idea, you know, how difficult it is. So, so well done. And uh, like I said, I'm really pissed off that I'm not going, but uh, next year, for sure. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, at least I'm happy that you're feeling the pinch of not coming. <laughs> every day, every day in every way. <laughs> so, Alan, we will not send you photos. We will not uh, inform you about anything. So, not to arrive. Yes, please. yes, please. Just uh, let's 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 stave off the pain until the new year. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, Stuart, thank you very much. Chris and Christian and Daniel and Alan. <clears throat> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. Thank, See you soon. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Nice thing. See you. Nice thing. See you again. Looking, 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 looking so much looking forward. forward. Absolutely. Looking forward, to an, looking forward to an endless hang when you guys arrive. Yes. Yes. Endless yes. hang. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's summer, which is great. It helps. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, really. He is great. You can imagine. So I'm tired okay. all the time. But yeah. It's yeah. very hot. Bye bye. 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 bye.